Hi, welcome to the App Codes channel on YouTube. I recently had someone ask me about loading some local HTML files into a UI web view after a user selects a row in a UI table view. So I decided to do a little tutorial on that, but because I like my videos to not be too long, I'm going to break this up into a number of parts. So today will just be the first in a series of tutorials dealing with that. Um, today is going to be very short and very simple and it's just going to deal with loading a local file into a UI web view. So that's all we're going to take care of today and then we'll use this one as a base to build off of as we move into the rest of it. So today I'm just going to create a new project. I'm going to select the tab bar application and I'm going to name it web View tutorial, and I'll just go ahead. I'm just going to name this Web View Tutorial One. Okay. I'll put it in my source control there. Okay. Now, the first thing I need to do, since we are going to be working with a local um, HTML file, is I need to create that local HTML file. So I'm just going to select an empty file here. I'm just going to name it red.html and then I need to fill out my HTML here which I'll do very quickly um, red page title oh I misspelled that I don't want a tile I want a title and then close our Head. Okay, then we want body and we're going to do a background color equal to red on our body. And then we're just going to put a simple little header in there that I'm going to align to the center. And we'll just put in here uh, red. Okay, close our body tag, our HTML, and we should be good to go there. Okay, so now we have our very simple little HTML page here, and we're going to load it in a UI web view on our first view here. So let's open our first view nib file, get rid of those labels. Now we need to find a UI web view here. Add it like so. Let's open our header file and let's create an instance variable for a UI web view. Property non atomic retain ID outlet UI web view. We'll just name it web view. Okay, let's go to our implementation file and synthesize that instance variable. Now let's open our nib file again and connect that up. So connect the web view to the web view like so. Okay, back to our implementation file and let's go ahead and do the work here. So we're gonna all this is gonna happen in the view did load method. And what we're going to do is we're going to create an ns string and we're going to name it URL address and then this is going to get a resource path and it's going to get it out of the main bundle so we're going to declare an ns bundle main bundle and then path for resource and the name of our file is red and it is of the type HTML. So that's going to get a path to our resource, which in this case is our red HTML file over here. Okay, it's just going to stick it in a string there, and then we're going to create a US, I'm sorry, an NS URL, and just name it URL. Oops. 
URL. And here we're going to do file URL with path and pass in that path that we created to our resource, which was the URL address. And then finally, we want the URL request. We'll just name this request object equals ns URL. Oh, did that again. NS URL request and request with URL and pass in our our URL that we've created. And then finally, we want to load that into our web view. So we'll just load request, and this will be request object. And there we go. So what we've done is we've created a string that's holding the path to our file named red of type HTML. So we have a string that has the path to our file, and then we pass that string into this method file URL with path that creates our NS URL and then that NS URL we pass to request with URL which is creating our NS URL request which then gets loaded into our web view. Okay, pretty simple. Let's go ahead and run it, see if it works. Okay, to the simulator, run and if I haven't forgotten anything, we should see our red HTML file, which we do with our red background. And let's go ahead and get that open there. So we can see we have our red background and we have our header tag that says red, red web view. Okay, that was pretty simple. Again, we knew this was going to be easy, but this is going to be the foundation with which we will build on the next tutorial, which is going to add these web views depending on what row a user selects in a UI table view. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful in some regard, and make sure you keep it and we'll build on it. And as always, please come visit me at theappcodeblog.com where you'll find a lot more tutorials. And until next time, have a great day.